Pretty hey. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? Very good. It's yeah. been a long drive, but we're here. A bit tired, but very yeah. good. Very happy to be here. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. I know you're right in the middle of your tour. You're going to be yes. playing tonight in Newcastle yeah. at Think Tank. Can you just describe to me what you're doing outside there? Uh, just now, recently, I, yeah. was, uh, I was trying out the reception. There's a big <laughs> empty reception that's up for grabs. Mm. I think uh, maybe if you're looking for a reception, I think Amazing Radio might be selling one. I'm not going to say that, though. <laughs> but yeah, there's a, there's a phone on there that was felt pretty old school. I felt like a stockbroker. <laughs> so I got into character a little bit with that. I noticed you were, who were you talking to on the phone? Uh, Johnny, I was telling him to sell all the stock. Ah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to have you just there. And you can you can welcome everyone into the uh, into the building. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, might take great. a part-time job if you're looking. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to be playing a couple of tracks for us. But um, first, I just wanted to, well, catch up a little bit with you because uh, I yeah. saw you at The Great Escape. We had a little chat there. This was before you decided Decided to announce that you'd uh, brought your debut. Well, you're bringing your debut album out. Oh, yeah. um, so let's just rewind back. Yeah. So in May, you played to a sold out Moth Club. Oh yeah. Guess How was that? <laughs> that was hot. That was hot. <laughs> that was that hot was, one. <laughs> that was good though. Yeah, that was, um, flat that was a, a defining moment. Yeah, flattering and hot. And then we just played uh, the Tough Nold Park Dome the other day, and that sold out as well I think wow. yeah, we wouldn't have known that in May though no oh no definitely <laughs> not we're just comparing the two <laughs> yeah. I knew it was happening in May <laughs> um, yeah of course you played London Cambridge Leicester and Dublin so far on this tour yeah is that yeah. right uh, we've done a couple more shows yeah. we've done Liverpool uh, <laughs> we did some other you've shows you've done so many this year <laughs> we did Bristol and we did Brighton which was really good as well like that was we got to play a Sticky Mike's Frog Bar which oh. was great Oh, which of course is so sad because that's actually closing at the end of the uh, end of the year. So that'll be your last gig there. Mm. First and last. We managed to get in. Managed to get in before. Yeah, at least. Um, So who's been your favourite crowd so far? Oof. Have you got one? Uh, That's tough. That's tough. Uh, Good question. I mean, the dome was great. They were so nice. Mm. Yeah, that was like Uh, people on shoulders and stuff, which we don't usually get. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we kind of felt like rock stars in there. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, Yeah. and everybody sang happy birthday to Arden because yeah, that was really nice. Oh my goodness, happy birthday for well now a few days ago. ago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's super nice. Yeah, it was super nice. My manager got me some cake that we shared with like the first three people on the front row. I think they hogged all of it, but. uh, Wait, like what kind of cake was it? It was uh, chocolate, small small cubes of chocolate cake. Ooh. And I had about uh, 10 of them, but I don't think they made it very far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that sounds amazing. Um, of course, the Hearst crowd is quite different, I would say, to like oh. a normal gig. J- just because everyone's like there, that they're quite chill, but mm. they all have a nice dance. There's no, you know, uh, everyone parting ways and then coming back in and like mashing and moshing with each other, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, which is quite nice. True. We're hoping to incorporate that at some point, though, I think. <laughs> Uh, That's the next album. We need some heavier songs and then we can start the pits. I would like to see that. We're going to play like extended versions of medieval (laughs) and stuff. Um, Oh my God, great. No, it's nice. They all just sway along very, uh, very nicely like uh, a field of rye. Yes. Maybe. I like that. I like Mm. that a lot. Uh, Now let's talk about the first track that you're going to play for us. It's Under Wraps, which is the last track on your debut album. Yes. 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 And you recently brought a video out for it, which I watched this morning. Ah. Uh, It's directed by, now correct me if I'm wrong, George Ramos. Yes. Yes. Ramos, yes. Yeah, Ramos. Um, And uh, you said, get your skates on and have a wee cry under the disco ball. Now, I did nearly cry. It's it's quite quite an emotional video. It's a sad one, yeah. Yeah. Mm, It's very sad. But it goes really well with the track and... um, it's quite like retro as well, of course. I mean, we don't really have roller discos anymore. Yeah. But my question for you was, have you ever been to one? Yes. Yes. Oh, you have. I'm yes. jealous, dude. I think I have, What yeah. do you do? It's a pretty decent... Well, there's like a leisure centre in Barrow. <laughs> and sometimes they turn it into the roller disco. You know, oh, they just nice. turn the lights off and stuff. And, uh, yeah, 
I've always had a dream of cruising around on skates, but whenever you get up, you just fall over and then yeah. it's your dream's over. This is true. <laughs> I uh, I went to a roller... Di- well, I was at Bestival. I think it was back in 2012, I yeah. want to say. And they have like a roller disco area. And so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll have a little crack at this. And <laughs> oh, no. uh, it was really hard. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. with the roller skates that have like the four, just the four wheels and aren't in one in a line. I was literally like, how did I used to do this as a child? Yeah, because yeah. it's and just... It's got so like a break on the front yeah. or something. There's like this thing coming out. Yeah, it looks crazy. looks so cool and effortless though when people are just doing it. Like I can't believe it. It looks like they're just flying around. Do you know what I think yeah. it'd be a great idea? If you guys held a roller disco and you you played. Yeah, that'd be amazing. That'd be a great idea. I think that's a great, that'd idea. Be a great idea. I'll though. come. I mean I might fall <laughs> over a few times, but Yeah, we should great. Yeah. <laughs> On like stage as well, on the skates. On the skates, yeah. wow. <laughs> I on think that'd actually be the end of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would actually finish me. But you've been ice skating, right? Yeah, but I stopped when I like banged my knee and it grew to like the size Ooh. of like Ooh. the melon. <laughs> nice. No, yeah. ice skating's but, scary. Very yeah, scary. Yeah, ice is very hard, turns out. Yeah. <laughs> it's not nice to land on. <laughs> it's not very soft, is it? Um, okay, well, shall we, uh, are you ready to play? We're going to play. Let's yeah. do this. I'm excited. Let's do it. Rock and roll. <laughs> Here you go. This is hers. In session on Amazing Radio with me, Ryan Thompson. And the track is called Under Wraps. All right, that is hers in session on Amazing Radio here with me, Ryan Thompson. And uh, got them with me in the studio right now. That was Under Wraps, taken from your debut album, Invitation to Hers. Oh, Welcome yeah, back, yeah. boys. Hey. Um, <laughs> right, I want to talk to you about something. One of my friends um, actually Instagrammed about your album and I thought it summed it up quite Perfectly. She uh-huh. said, uh, this album is a silly masterpiece that makes me feel like I'm getting ready for prom in both 50s and 80s simultaneously. <laughs> and uh, I just want to give a shout out to nice. Kate Pasola because uh, I thought it was great. And uh, nice. I just wanted to say, is that what you were aiming for? Or uh... I actually read that before, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, thanks, 80s Kate. and 50s and prom and <laughs> silly. Yeah, that's it. It's definitely got like a, a retro vibe to it. Um, but tell me like where the inspiration came for this album. Uh, so like at the surface, like the, the, the name Invitation to Hers mm-hmm. is like a small nod to like Twin Peaks, mm-hmm. the uh, the TV show, not the band. Uh, <laughs> sorry, no, the band are good as well. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so that uh, ended up kind of inspiring a lot of the songs like Low Beam and uh, Blue Lips and uh, yeah so yeah. well it's like each yeah. song's like an episode in our mind a little bit and oh, yeah. sometimes cool. you know like Love we're always characters. talking about like what show it fit into or what kind yeah. of scene this would play in yeah. <laughs> I think we always like to tie it to like a visual like a movie visual often lynching maybe mm. oh mm. wow and then there was a lot of bands as well we were listening yeah, to yeah for sure like, we were smashing that new MGMT album. Oh, yeah. Well, it came out, like, in the middle, so yeah. I think, like, recording took, like, a turn at that point yeah, where we were, yeah. like, just smashing that every day. Really <laughs> like that. Pretty, that pretty good, don't it? <laughs> Maybe we could get it sounding like that a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, what are you listening to right now? Who are your, uh, who are your go-tos? Mm, You've got... I've been, I've been into this guy from L.A. called Part-Time a lot, uh, who's, like, very... Uh, in the family of like Ariel Pink and that, like a mm. bit low fi but he writes really cute pop songs a lot of the time. Mm. And then he put some horrible visuals. I like put a <laughs> video up on Facebook and then I realized what was going on in it. I was like, oh my God, I gotta delete this one now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, but the song's dead nice. Um, and uh, yeah, he's got a bit of like an 80s thing with big reverbs and it's, uh, it's very charming, mm. I think. Yeah. I'm really into um, two weirdos. Well, not weirdos. You're not into weirdos, like YouTube music. Yeah. Right? yeah, I've been delving into YouTube in the past few, a couple of uh, years, I guess. And uh, right now, I'm listening to a lot of Tonetta, which Ooh. is T O N E T T A. And Tonetta is uh, I can't I don't have enough time to explain him, but he's uh, <laughs> he's great. Raunchy, raunchy and cute. Raunchy and yeah, and cute <laughs> and romantic. And then I'm also listening to uh, a guy called. Uh, Superstar and Star, Ooh. which is like... Um, <laughs> These all sound very interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's all very lo-fi and obscure. and It's, you know, it's all lo-fi, this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's really lo-fi. Uh, maybe not suitable for the radio. Actually, no, it is suitable for the radio. There should yeah, be more lo-fi on the radio. Like, wow. 
Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> talk to me about the um, thing behind your front cover. I, I love this slurping of the of the coffee that Sorry, I can hear right now. ASMR, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, uh, you keep it in your mouth, but then draw in air. You gotta like then... cool it down on the way, right? Mm. That, that sounds uh, that that's... sounds good. I feel like I'm in a bit of a fish tank with that noise. Yeah. I burnt my mouth a little bit. <laughs> oh, be careful, be careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah let's talk about the um, album artwork because yeah. it's a bunch of flowers and almost mm. what I'd like to call like velvety textures behind, yeah. nice and green. What's the uh, inspiration for that? Well, um, that's also going back to Twin Peaks. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's. Uh, um, drawing upon the 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 soap opera in uh, the, the fictional soap that they're always watching on TV in Twin Peaks called uh, I mean I'm just gonna spill the beans yeah, here, yeah. is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Invitation to Love, and uh, that's got like a blue velvet thing happening oh. with like a little letter on it that's like open and it says Invitation to Love on it, and we kind of wanted to emulate that, so uh, so we kind of but we wanted to like yeah like maybe a bit more prommy. Uh, make our own in a way so yeah. we went with the the green velvet which was green velvet but it was really hard to photograph green velvet turns out and we were doing it in my flat for like hours trying wow. to get this photo I'm really glad that we took that photo that yeah sick. me too me too yeah we were setting up them flowers for ages against my couch it's literally on my couch with the green oh, velvet oh I love that <laughs> yeah. yeah so is it just a piece of green velvet then yeah. uh, material uh, and yeah then... yeah it's, uh, we got it on stage nowadays yeah. actually oh. and uh, some uh, some shout out to Tesco flowers <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like five, three or five quid for them flowers. Yeah, it's like the most quid. expensive album artwork ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. So expensive. So, yeah, we had about a day to chance. do it as well. Yeah, well, yeah. We, yeah. Have long we spent that whole time taking that one photo. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. got it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love that. Um, okay, let's, should we have another track from you guys? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to just get my guitar on. Strapped yeah. in and ready to go. Are you ready? Got it all there yeah. set up there? Put ready, your coffees ready. down, yeah? Oh, yeah, the coffee's going down. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and uh, you're going to play Harvey, um, and we'll talk a bit more about the track after we've listened to it. Here you go. This is Hers in Session on Amazing Radio. Yeah. Beautiful. That is hers there in session on Amazing Radio with me, Rianne Thompson. That track is called Harvey, taken from their debut album, Invitation to Hers. And uh, just explain to me a little bit more about what Harvey um, yeah, is all about. Harvey is, uh, yeah, so the song's inspired by the film Harvey, which is the 50s uh, James Stewart starring film. And, uh, yeah, it's about uh, his relationship with this... Um, invisible gigantic rabbit like nobody else can see and everybody thinks he's kind of losing his mind in his uh, local area and whatnot so yeah and the song was kind of uh i wanted to take that and then kind of make a nice song about friendship uh, yeah, I think I think I think yeah. we can apply it to, yeah. to our circumstance. I feel like uh, an yeah. invisible rabbit sometimes. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah, you got to yeah. fight for your friendships for sure. I like that. Yeah. I don't think there's enough tracks about friendships. I think right. they're really <laughs> important, and I feel yeah. like it kind of gets washed over a little bit. Yeah, almost. So that's nice. Because yeah, nice we have a lot of love songs and stuff. So what, what, you need need a friend song every now and then. Yeah. Of course, of so. course, you just drop mm. one in there. Uh, <laughs> right. So you're uh, you're playing Newcastle tonight. You're going to be playing think tank um what time are you on do you know (laughs) oh trick question the hard hitting questions here (laughs) we don't have if um, they come at eight then every oh what what nine nine fifth nine fifteen nine fifteen give a six to us and you get nine fifteen which is correct like okay and uh you're gonna have honeymoon on before who are supporting you they're a four piece and they are from london yeah, I yeah. want to say. Well, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Definitely come down for that. So uh, we recommend maybe getting down for eight for Honeymoon. Yeah. Is that a good yeah. guess? Yeah. 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 Excellent. Uh, now, you play lots of independent venues, um, I've noticed. You play, you go on tour mm. quite a lot. Um, is okay. there anyone in particular that you love going back to or are you excited to go to one of them? I think it's quite important that, um, well, I think it's great that you know you stick around and you like play, well, like Brugenelle Social Club, where I saw you guys. Yeah. Um, so, have you got a favourite one that you've. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah it's Before funny I'm you done? said brood. I mean, that's like everybody's favorite venue. Mm. You know? It's so it's so nice when you get there and uh, and like uh, the the environment's nice and like the people are nice and there's Abu Bakar right next door serving like dal and stuff of yeah. really cheap. It's great pies and there's pies, pies as well if you're not in the Abu Bakar mood. Yeah, um, there's definitely something about the. Brudenel that is quite different to anywhere else. I feel yeah. like it's like a community. You can go in, play a little bit of pool, grab a cheap beer, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, then That's you can gorgeous. go in and watch some uh, music. The sound system's great there, and it's it's quite. It, yeah, they can cram a lot of people in, but it feels quite small and intimate. Yeah. I and you think. can like. Is it coexist with like the working men scene as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the right yeah, way of putting it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's and, nice uh, that they're not like scared away or anything, or we're not scared away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. We can both be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same sure. time. Symbiotic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, apart from the brood, is there any other venues that you'd like to give a shout out to that you've played, you've enjoyed? Yeah. We always have a pretty good experience at the Hare and Hound in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah it's true. Cool. It's true. We've played there's there like probably more there than anywhere else. Right? Parking there's a bit tough, but <laughs> otherwise, after you've and you parked, yeah, you get really parking. excited about parking when you're on tour. You're like, okay, yeah. we got to figure out this parking. Yeah. But once you parked, you're very good at the Hare and Hounds. Yeah, and it's uh, they've got beautiful tile work in there. That's true. Yeah, a good it's... sound system, a good stage. Yeah, yeah. That's and uh, last time we played the small room uh, and they had uh, these amazing lights looking a bit Windows 1998. Yeah, Blade Runner. A little Blade Runner nice. vibes. That was cool. cool. Yeah. Sounds cool. I've never hmm. been, but oh. hopefully I'll have a chance to travel down there at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some King's point. Heath. But. Yeah. Um, so you have already announced dates for next year. Uh, I saw that you're heading over to America. Yeah. Uh, that you're excited for that. Yeah. And uh, have you got any other plans? Are you, are you gonna like you know have a bit more of a chilled one next year? Um, Probably not. I mean, <laughs> I don't think so either. It's hard to tell what's gonna happen with the whole like uh, Brexit kicking in and stuff. Ooh. Like, wow, well, whether or not we're gonna. Norway. Yeah, like no. whether or not. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we'll move to Norway and then we won't play in Europe, and then we'll just play in Asia and America. <laughs> That's Oof. my, that's is that my the plan? forecast. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, that's what I've decided. So this is our UK Favel tour. No, don't say that. <laughs> no, it's not Stop, it's don't make me cry. The final not shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we wouldn't be able to come back to Newcastle, but yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't get it through uh, immigration. You yeah, yeah, we'll have to do a Skype gig. Yeah. Sk- oh, wow. Can, Can you imagine? On a projector. <laughs> 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 oh wow um, so yeah so not too sure I mean you're going to be doing loads more de- you guys yeah. you honestly do so many live dates how do you like <laughs> keep on track of everything and you know I just I don't know I Mom, just don't know how you do it we yeah. barely don't <laughs> uh, we're, we're only just we're uh, hanging in there yeah, healthy yeah. at the minute hey, we're swimming and we've got about like <laughs> our eyes above water at the minute yeah. and uh, but I mean we, I think we're pretty comfortable there I think we can stay there for a while yeah. Uh, Please tell really me you're going to take some time off Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Please. Think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not told the managers yeah. yet, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. You've got it. But yeah, got I've it. got my plane ticket. I'm going home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be we'll, nice. We're going, we're going. Hmm. When are you going? No. <laughs> I'm going, yeah. I'm going, I'm going to go to Norway as well, actually. Yeah, we're all <laughs> cool. girlfriend lives there, so I'm going to be there. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I've never been to Norway, but oh. it looks absolutely beautiful. Very good for Christmas. It is oh, very good. Yeah. I bet the markets there mm. are next to, like, yeah, next level. For sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show and playing mm. in session and having a chat. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of your tour dates and, of course, next year as well when you head over to America. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd finish with Trudy and the Rose romance because you yeah. had them on tour with you uh you chose junkyard cat why any reason oh i mean the entire ep is like flawless yeah. and probably one of the best things that's ever been released ever mm, yeah um, all time but i think that's just the one we're riffing on in the most at the minute cool yeah it's got a bit of a, a throwback to liverpool it's a bit liverpool yeah. which uh, mm. which we we can think about listening to it uh, yeah yeah and it's 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 great yeah Sounds great. Uh, here you go then. This is, oh, actually, you know what? I've got a better idea. Why don't you guys introduce it? All right. This is going to be Junkyard Cat by the, uh, the Junkyard Boys. <laughs> Trudy and the Romance. <laughs> 